aspiring to travel and actually traveling are two very different things often the assumption goes that people who travel all the time they come from family money or they were rich to begin with but let me tell you that is not the case everybody who i have come across in my years of travel has cracked or created some system or situation of savings in their life in this video i'm going to be telling you about my personal system of savings and how i have saved for travel number one and i want you guys to highlight this one the moment i used to get my monthly salary i used to go to the bank and take out the planned chunk of savings and i used to go buy dollars immediately now that i do my own gigs whenever i take out my monthly drawing i do the same thing i have a planned amount of savings for every month which i take out of my expense account and i go buy dollars or if not i keep it at home so that that money is not lying in my bank account tempting me to be spent in some kind of a purchase Number 2 I always have my saving goal figured out which means that I always know where do I want to go next even if I do not have a concrete plan of exactly when am I going to travel for what duration or to exactly how many cities or towns but I always have a rough idea of the destination that I want to that I would want to go to next and how much amount of money will it cost me this way I have I always have a concrete number in my mind and it's always easier to save when you have a very specific numeric goal number 3 unfollow social media pages of all the brands and companies that always tempt you into buying stuff we are constantly bombarded with ads all the time we are on social media everybody wants to sell you something but recently i came across an ad that made me pause the ad said save your money and coincidentally a few weeks later i ended up partnering with them to bring you guys all this content on saving for travel including this video this money management app is called oran and if you put committee with your friends or family members they help you digitize the entire committee management process i genuinely find this to be a brilliant idea you can set your savings goal start a committee with your friends log the payments get reminders and achieve your goals Number 4 I fell out of love with seasonal trends which means that I do not go out and buy anything just because it's trending over the years I developed a signature style for myself which means that I know what kind of clothes accessories shoes suit me and I like to wear colors prints cuts everything ladies I'm talking to you in this one these seasonal trends are created so that we can go buy weird shaped disposable pieces of clothing which we don't want to use or wear after that trend is over. Number 5, I do not go out for expensive dinners every weekend just because it's a weekend and I want to have fun. I always keep a check on our expenses when we are socializing. Also, I do not order expensive lunches at work during weekdays either. Trust me, it saves up a big deal of money. Number 6, updating technology. No. not for me i do not want to get into it i do not change my iphone every year to the latest version because i know there is no getting out of that chase you spend so many dollars on an iphone every year and then it gets obsolete in the next 11 months it has not lived its physical life and then it's time to change another one notes i don't want to get into that because i feel like honestly if i'm spending Six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars on a piece of technology. It should last me more than a year. So I only change my phone when it breaks down, or it has lived the course of its life, which is usually around two and a half to three years plus for me. Number seven. I always keep a list of things I want to buy in my phone notes app. Anytime I feel an impulse to purchase something, I just write it down on that list, and I see how quickly that list grows. But I don't have to really buy everything. It helps me become more intentional and conscious about the purchases I make. Also, it helps me prioritize the things that I really want to buy or the things that I want to prioritize for this month or this year, without compromising on my savings goal. So all those things make up my personal system of savings. I'm genuinely interested in knowing if you guys have some tips or things or a system that you have deployed in your life which I'm not aware of. Do go in the comments and write them down 
also if you want to add on to any of the tips that i mentioned please do let me know in the comments and until next video goodbye Thank you.